My name is Mike Camber, and I'm a contract photojournalist for the New York Times. I cover a lot of conflict. I covered the war in Iraq for many years. You know, I also do just stories on uh, humanitarian issues around the world. Photography can really provoke change. You know, I came to New York to go to school, and then I just started freelancing, and I started learning about Bruce Davidson, about Robert Frank, and, you know, a lot of these photographers, and that they were using Leicas. You know, it seemed like the camera that the serious photographers were using. You know, I freelanced for 15 years. You just tried to be out every day shooting. You know, that was the thing. So I had a couple Leicas, I had a couple of M2s. I was out every day covering whatever I could and trying to sell the photos. The thing about the M9 is that it feels like the M2s and M4s and M6s that I always used. I mean, it feels like a continuation of that. It gives me the same advantages that the Leica M's always gave me. It's, uh, it's smaller, it's quieter, the lenses are phenomenal. It's an easy camera to work with. It just feels more organic. It feels more like part of the scenery. It feels like sort of an extension of what I'm doing. It doesn't attract as much attention. You know, we're frequently working in places where we're not supposed to take pictures. We're working around checkpoints, we're working around soldiers, and frequently they don't want photos taken, and it's just much easier to have for me to have a small Leica with one lens, I think I can do it better than carrying a bunch of other gear. The M9, I used it in Iraq, I used it in uh, West Africa. I've been beating on it pretty good. It's held up really well, it's been tough. I was using it in Jamaica recently and it was raining every day, it was the rainy season and the camera got soaked and at one point I took off the bottom plate and I had to dump the water out of the bottom plate, it was so wet. The water had gotten all through the camera but it, it, it kept working. The Leica has a certain romance to it. You know, you're part of a, you're part of a long tradition, sort of like a whole culture.